If you're still manually adding captions one by one, or even still using the built-in captions tool in Premiere Pro, then let me tell you about Brevity. Nice. So Brevity is an extension for Premiere Pro that makes adding trending animated captions to your edits super fast and convenient. Now, a couple of reasons I like Brevity are first, Obviously, I like how you can just quickly choose your animation style from a preset menu, as opposed to manually keyframing an animation to a bunch of layers. And second, I like the diversity in preset styles while still being fully customizable. Finally, I personally love the retime feature, which uses AI to readjust the timing of your captions if you make a change to the edit after generating your initial captions. So once you've installed the extension, we'll open up Premiere, and you can see I have an edit on my timeline that I wanna add animated captions to. So I'll just head up to window and under extensions, I'll click the brevity extension and it'll open up in its own panel here where I can then click on captions. Before doing anything else, I'm just going to set my in and out points on my timeline so brevity knows what section of the edit to generate captions for. Now back in our brevity panel, we need to choose a caption style so we can click here to choose from a long list of trending presets. Now keep in mind that you'll still be able to customize the captions after choosing this preset. So think of it more as a starting point for your captions if that's what you need it to be. So I'll select this YouTube red preset and then you'll see next, we have to choose our transcription model here based on either the fast or accurate setting. Fast is gonna give you a faster transcription time with slightly less accuracy or if you have a bit more time, choose accurate for more accurate results. What's pretty cool too with Brevity is we can auto translate our captions as well if we need them in another language. Just select translate to language and then choose from almost any language on this list. Now, once we're happy with our settings, we can go ahead and just hit create. As it loads, it's worth noting that you do need to be connected to the internet for these captions to work. Once it's done, you can see a Brevity captions layer has been added to our timeline here. The first thing I like to do is set the formatting of my captions, so I'll head up to this paragraph tool and I can adjust my lines and characters. I like to set my lines to one and my characters to around 15, but play around with what works best for you. Something I do really enjoy about this part of the tool is as I adjust my characters and line settings, you can see it updating in real time, so I don't have to guess how my formatting is looking, which is a really nice addition. Finally, once you're happy, just hit format captions to finalize the formatting. So now maybe we want to adjust the style and position of our captions. So to do that, we need to click on this style tab. One of the great things about Brevity is that it lets you easily customize an insane amount of style settings. We could honestly probably do a whole video on just this style panel. First, I can start by setting this position tab to either top, middle, or bottom. Today, I'll choose bottom and then increase the padding to around 20 to have it sitting right where I want it. If you want to adjust the scale, you can do so with this scale slider here. Now, because my animation isn't super complex, I don't need to worry about these three animation setting menus, but to clarify, each one gives you a list of controls to further customize your caption animations. This is too much power for one person. If we scroll down slightly, we can adjust our font and applicable settings like leading, tracking, or colors. We can even select the case of our captions here. For instance, if we want our captions all in capital letters, we can select caps locks here, but make sure to also select it in our active text panel as well, as you can customize them separately. The active text refers to the highlighted word that is currently being said in the captions, which we can adjust the color of here if needed. We can also choose to keep certain words highlighted in a separate color to emphasize them. To do this, just make sure the highlight tab is selected in our style panel and then close it. Now come up to this star and we can use AI to select keywords to highlight for added emphasis. From there, we can manually customize the emphasize words by clicking them to leave them active or not. To save your new animation style as a preset for easy access, we can head back to the style tab and click new, give our preset a name and choose to add it to our trending style list or not. Now we can easily load it whenever we need and we're ready to add that caption style to any future video in literal seconds. One of the most convenient features in Brevity, for me at least, is the retime feature, which I mentioned earlier. So let's say you have an edit and you've already added captions, but then you go to make some tweaks to the edit and that throws off the timing of your captions. Isn't that annoying? So what we can do now is head up to the retime tool and click start retiming. Then readjust our individual caption timings as needed via the PNGs in the timeline. And once we're happy with the new timing, hit confirm and our captions will be retimed in a few moments. So if we play it back, once it updates, you can see our captions are perfectly timed to our new edit, 
which is a huge time saver. Now, you can try Brevity today at www.brevity.pro, but it's worth noting that this is a paid extension, which I quickly wanted to touch on. The one critique I do have of the extension, if I can even call it that, is that I wish it wasn't a monthly subscription model, as I don't personally love that setup for obvious reasons, but for the control this tool offers, I can't really complain. Now, with that being said, make sure to subscribe for more video editing content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.